Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today the road brings us to Asheville, North Carolina, and behind me is the Biltmore Mansion. This was built by George Vanderbilt, and they moved in December the 24th, 1895. And we are going to go inside today, and we are going to tour some of the grounds, and you get to come with us. And we'll get started right after this station identification. The front yard of the Biltmore House, you may remember from the movie Richie Rich, right on this very ground, they played baseball. Not one way over there. <laughs> this is inside of the stables. They have turned the stables into a restaurant, as well as some of the little rooms or shops. This was a tack room. Up on the corner of the roof, you see the gargoyles. They st stand out from the house. Most of the time, gargoyles were used as a gutter. The water would pour out of the gargoyle's mouth to direct water away from the house. Now, there are other things called grotesque that you'll see throughout the house, like under the windows. Most of the time, grotesque would grotesque would have flowers on the right side of the house is the stables that uh, serve as shops and restaurant now what used to be the horses and the carriage was the carriages were kept there and I imagine in the early 19th in the I imagine in the early 20th century the rolls would be kept in there as well. Parked around them. On the right side of the house is the stables that uh, serve as shops and restaurant now. What used to be the horses and the carriage was the carriages were kept there. The, I imagine in the early 20th century the rolls would be kept in there as well. This vine arbor off to the left side of the Biltmore House is Chinese wisteria. It is very old. At home, wisteria grows wild, produces a beautiful flower. But if you get it in your yard and you don't take control of it, it will run you out of your home. Today we will tour the Biltmore House, the largest single residence home in the United States. Between 1889 and 1895, George Washington Vanderbilt built the largest privately owned house in the United States, 178,926 square feet of floor space, 135,280 square foot of living area. This is called the billiard room, otherwise known to us poor people as the pool room. The 
banquet room is the largest room in the house with a 70 foot high ceiling. 64 guests could sit at the table surrounded by Flemish tapestries and a triple fireplace. On the opposite end of the dining room is a 1916 Skinner pipe organ to entertain his dining guest. And of course, everyone knows you never eat breakfast in the dining hall. You eat it in the breakfast room. To help with the house's finances during the Great Depression. In 1930, the house was open to the public. During World War II, in 1942, the house was closed to the public. The music room, as we see it now, didn't look quite that way, as it was just brick walls. 62 paintings and 17 sculptures were moved from the National Gallery of Art by train to Biltmore for safekeeping. The music room was not completed and it opened to the public in 1976. The two-story library contains over 10,000 books and in eight different languages. That is a door that opens to the second floor of the library. Climbing the 107 steps, spiraling around a four-story wrought iron chandelier holding 72 light bulbs. From the opening of the house during the Great Depression, not all of the rooms were open to the public. In fact, Mr. Vanderbilt's bedroom was not open until 2011. The oak sitting room, named because of the oak panels, was a room between Mr. and Mrs. Vanderbilt's bedrooms. On the third floor can be found a number of guest bedrooms.
when the house was opened in 1895, it came complete with electricity and bathrooms. The basement of the house is where everything happens. It is the largest basement in the United States. Everything from a pastry kitchen, a rotisserie kitchen, a walk-in refrigerator, everything that you would need if you were a multi-billionaire, even a bowling alley. Also in the basement, we find a 70,000 gallon ceramic tile heated swimming pool. complete with a 19th century gymnasium. Now we come to the busy part of the basement. This is where everything happens. Huge pantry full of vegetables and fruits, canned goods from all over the world. Of course, what kitchen would not be complete without a dumbwaiter to carry a meal fit for a king up to the main dining room. Of course, the laundry would wash occasionally the clothing, but most importantly, the napkins, the sheets, the towels that it took to furnish this huge house. And a state-of-the-art sheet dryer, rather than hanging the clothes on the line, they would hang them on these rods and push them into a closet where they would be dried by steam. Here is another view of the main dining hall and the gun room.
if you come to Biltmore, plan to do a lot of walking. I want to add this. During the holiday season, it costs as much to get into the Biltmore estate as it does for a one-day ticket at Disney World. And there's no roller coaster here. All right. Well, that is going to do it for our tour to the Biltmore Estate. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to share this with your family and friends. Give me a big old thumbs up until next time. Y'all have a good day.